Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming to Gail Chanel's 40th World, where we do soap opera reviews. Today's soap opera we're going to be going over is The Bold and the Beautiful that aired on Friday, August the 12th at 1.30 p.m. In the first scene, we have Liam and Steffi talking about Quinn and how she's weighing on her, and he don't like that. I mean, really, Liam? Go start on your foundation and make an impact, okay? Then we have Eric tells Quinn he wants her in his life. Point blank and period. End of discussion. Then we have Rich and Rick discussing Eric and how he stormed out of the building after they had discussion with him about him not behaving appropriately, and especially not with Quinn. Thomas is exercising and Sasha comes in seeing him working out. They make small talk, small conversation, and she gets into making a little indication on what's going on with you and Caroline. They're going to make small talk about that, but he says, or he tells Sasha he's been in contact with her. They're doing fine, and hopefully they'll be home soon. Sasha's telling Thomas she's a very good listener when Thomas gets a phone call, so he don't really have a chance to just sit and give her more dirt on the situation or where here where him and Caroline stands. So he excuses himself and tells Sasha to go on and work out. Sasha starts to uh, lift weights when Julius, her father, shows up to see her. He's wanting her to leave LA, y'all. Like, Julius needs to stop. He needs to lie in his own bed a bit. <laughs> his own bit of mess and figure it all out. Sasha, it wasn't a mistake. The rela relationship he had with another woman was a mistake. But the baby that was born out of that union was not a mistake. Julius still has some, a lot of way to go with trying to repair his situation. And, of course, the situation with Aunt V. Okay? Um, we go to Rick and Pam and Rich. They're still talking about Eric storming out of the building. And they are hoping he's not with Quinn. But y'all, that's exactly where he is. And I ain't mad at Eric. Don't get your groove on, honey. Then we have Stephanie and Liam making small talk when Wyatt walks in her office. Okay, then we have Quinn is totally confused about what Eric truly intentions are for her. And them, and if it really could be a successful relationship. Okay, then we go to Eric. Eric is acting like a grown man, y'all. He don't got his sexy back, and he's always had his business sense about him. But, you know, he's taking charge, and he's not letting nobody tell him or dictate who and, and when and how he should conduct himself with finding a companion. And he's found Quinn, so let have, let be. Okay, then we go back to Sasha. Sasha's saying she's not leaving L.A. That's what she's telling Julius. Julius is saying this is Nicole and Maya's town. They're turf. And she's horning on in it. And nobody really wants her there. She's just a constant reminder of the affair that he had. No, Julius, you're the one they have to look at and then think about what you did. It ain't necessarily Sasha. If they're going to get on Sasha about something, it's going to be about Zenday. And that's it. Okay, so face your own mess. Okay. Uh, then we have Thomas and um, uh, comes in. He hears Maya and Julius fussing, but mostly Julius putting down Sasha. And he ain't trying to hear all that. But he don't say nothing right then and there. He's just watching. Uh, we go to Pam and Ridge, Eric still talking about, well, Ridge, Pam, and um, Rick is still talking about uh, Eric and his whereabouts. Then we have Quinn and Eric still make small talk at Quinn, you know, at her place, the little city, little place she's staying at, but he's gonna make it home, so he, he really love her, y'all. And she loved him, okay? Uh, Eric is telling Quinn the family thinks he's an old fool. And they don't think he knows 
uh, when somebody's trying to take advantage of him and this, that, and the other. And of course, Quinn is reassuring him and securing Eric that he's a good man and he's a good businessman and he's no old fool and all of this kind of stuff. Eric decides to call a family meeting. We got Wyatt, Steph, and Liam or make a small talk when Steph gets a call from Eric telling her to meet him in the CEO office because he's having you know, something he wanted to discuss with them. Steph leaves uh, Wyatt and Liam to go see you know what this is all about. We go to commercial, we come back, we have Sasha and Julia still fussing about leaving town. Thomas finally, you know, butts in after hearing so much. Uh, Julia's getting on Sasha and he's telling um, Julia he needs to stop talking to his daughter like that. And she is a part of the Avant family. He needs to start treating her that way. And he gets, gets sick and tired of Julia's and his mess. And he tells Julia to leave right now. Leave the building. And of course, you know, hey, his family own that building. If they want Julius to leave, even though he's uh, Rick's father-in-law, he has to toe the line and leave. So Sasha just found a newfound respect for Mr. Rick. I mean, Mr. Thomas. And I was like, oh my goodness. But anyway, it is what it is. And she seemed like she got goo-goo eyes for him now. And I'm like, oh my God. Caroline need to come on back home before... Somehow, Sasha plants a way of sleeping with Thomas, and Thomas come up with a baby, and all this mess is just a hot mess, okay? Anyway, Wyatt and Liam still talking about the meeting between Stephanie and her family, and Liam is not going anywhere until he pretty much knows what's going on and how it's going to affect uh, Stephanie, and Wyatt is like looking totally disgusted. Then we go back to Eric. Eric greets Pam, the CEO of everyone is in the office. She tells him yes, so he goes on in there. Uh, we have Rich goes right in and asks Eric when he comes in the door, were you with Quinn? Did you see Quinn? Everything's about Quinn, you know what I'm saying? So then Sasha and Thomas discuss Julia's position, and he's telling Sasha Julia was the one out of line, not her. Sasha gives him a hug for, you know, saving her from, you know, her father's, uh, whatever you call it, uh, his banter of meanness towards her. She kisses him real quickly, and Thomas seems surprised, but he's not shocked. I'm like, oh my goodness, he done got bit by the bug, that little bug of the spell. Sasha's trying to put him under. Anyway, why does it reassuring Liam, his life is still intact with Steffi. Uh, Eric brings Quinn in to let them know the jury line is coming back and so is Quinn. We go to commercial, we come back. They all are upset that Eric is bringing Quinn back, especially Stephanie. Stephanie thinks it's Ivy, but Quinn walks through the door. And then Stephanie gets up saying, absolutely not, absolutely not. Uh, now, what is Stephanie going to tell Wyatt now since she had gave him an ultimatum? He protect her from Queen, or she got to leave him. So what you got to tell why now, okay? Then what she gonna tell Lynn? What Lynn gonna do? That's Forrester. That's Eric Forrester calling the shots now, like a grown ass man, okay? What he gonna do? He gonna go or uh, why and and Lynn gonna go and say you shouldn't do Stephanie that way, this that and that, cut off your ties and that. And like you talking to a grown person, you talking to a senior there. So that's just amazing how things work out. And Steffi don't have a leg to stand on. So either she's going to tell Wyatt the truth. Does she just really love Liam? Or she's going to stay in her mess with Wyatt. Okay. Okay. But I was like, go ahead, Eric. Show them young books what's really going down. Y'all, that was my take on the young and I mean, the bold and the beautiful that aired for Friday, August 12th at 1.30 my time. Peace and blessings. Talk to you soon. Next episode, preferable. Thank you. Bye-bye.